In this example, we are asked to compute the partial path integral now. So notice we have dx, dy, dz here, and not just a ds arc length element, but the partial path integral. It's really a sum of partial path integrals where uh, the integrands are linear functions and the portion of, or the curve, sorry, is made up of portions of two line segments. One that goes from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and then the other from that picks back up from that point and goes to 0, 1, 2. So let's start this by sketching the curve and trying to get an idea of what this looks like. Then we are going to have to parameterize the curve and then finally compute uh, at least one integral, probably two integrals. Um, so let's let's start. So here's our point um, zero zero zero. This wants to travel now in the x z plane. So y remains zero, but in x z plane, this now goes to the point one zero one, and it's going in this direction. So I'm going to call this c one, and then from there, it picks back up at the same point one zero one. And it travels to the point 0, 1, 2. So that's now in the y plane. So 0, 1, 2 is here. And we'll call this C2. And there's a corner here. So this curve itself is not smooth. It's got a point where the derivative kind of breaks down. And so we have to represent this curve in two different parts. We have to represent each part individually in terms of uh, the vector functions. And that's because the parameterizations have to be smooth. Okay, we have to be able to take derivatives and, and compute the differentials, dx, dy, dz. All right, so let's start with C1. C1 starts at the origin. We saw in our last example that uh, line segments that start at the origin are very easy to parameterize. This one's just going to be 0, t0, <laughs> t0, t, sorry, t0, t. And then r1 dot, by the way, if r is x, y, z, all right, so let me change my notation here. Then we can write dr. dr is equal to dx, dy, dz. And in terms of this, we're just going to get dt, 0, dt. Okay? So this gives us our x, y, z, and our dx, our dy, and our dz in terms of the first portion of this curve. We now need to write down the vector functions that give or the vector function that gives us the second portion of the curve. So r2 t, by the way, uh, I didn't write this down. I don't even think I said it in this example. But whenever we parameterize a line segment like this, the way I've done it here, the domain of the parameter is from 0 to 1. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing now for r2. Now we're starting at 1, and this time our slope is negative 1. So 1 minus 1 t. That'll take us from 1 to 0 as t varies from 0 to 1. Same thing here. We start at 0, we get to t. So 0 plus 1 t. That's just t. And then finally we have 1 plus 1 t. The difference here is one step, right? So 1 plus t. So there's our parameterization of the curve segment c2. Also, parameterize as t varies from 0 to 1. Okay, we need to, again, treat these separately, though, right? These two portions of the curve. But just like we did with r1, we can compute dr2. And this one's going to be uh, negative dt, positive dt, positive dt. Just take the derivatives, okay? All right, so the next step is to write, rewrite our integral. And again, we're going to have to break it up and write it as a sum of two integrals. So here's what we will do. I need more paper. So our integral is of, uh, sorry, y plus z dx. So this is over c, right? Plus the next term is x plus z dy plus the last term is x plus y dz. This is going to be broken up to be the sum of two integrals. First over c1, same functions though, same, same integral. It's just breaking up the domain right now. So the next term here is x plus y dz. And then we're going to add to this the integral over c2. And out of laziness, I'm going to copy this. Okay. And then just paste it. And of course, it doesn't fit. 
so. Bear with me. I thought this was going to be quicker, but of course it's taking more time now. So there's there's the integral that we want to compute. And now we want to consider the uh, C1 and C2, the different C, the different uh, the different curves for each of these. And the first thing that we remember is that for R1, for the portion C1, uh, not only is y zero, but dy is zero. So for this first integral, dy is zero, so therefore we don't care what this is, but also y is zero. So those are gone. And then x and z are both t, and therefore their, d, their differentials are just dt. And so both of those can be replaced in this first integral by t dt. Same thing here, t dt. And if we're adding these up, we now have an integral from 0 to 1 of, I've, this is a horrible choice of color because blue meant something different over here. So let me just copy this over. In red, it's all in red. We just have to be careful what the red means, right? But this is the integral from 0 to 1 of 2t dt. There's two of these copies of t dt. All right, and then to this, we are going to add now the integral with respect to the second portion of the curve. When we go back here and we look at this, all of the differentials are dt's except for the first one. That's going to be negative, okay? So all of these, though, just become, this is a negative dt, so it's going to change the sign here. This is dt, this is dt. And then um, we go back and look at the integrands. So the first integrand is y plus z. That's t plus 1 plus t. And that's all negative, right? So the first integral, I'll just rewrite everything here. It's going to be negative t plus 1 plus t. The second one is x plus z. x plus z is just going to be 2. 1 plus 1 plus t minus t. So that's 2, okay, and then x plus y, x plus y is just 1, right, t plus 1 minus t. So plus 1, and then this is all integrated with respect to t. At this point, we can distribute through, and this integral can be simplified. This becomes the integral from 0 to 1, 2 plus 1 minus 1, that's just 2 minus 2t dt and then remember this portion here this is the integral from 0 to 1 2t dt and we're almost ready to integrate notice that once we're done with all this the integral itself is a breeze because these two can now be added together they have the same bounds they have the same differential just add them up this is just the integral from 0 to 1 2 dt plus 2t minus 2t cancel and this is of course just 2 times 1 which is two.